280 feet of pipe 280 feet of pipe and you can see it stopped raining but even with our pipe coming up out of the ground look at the flow tremendous tremendous groundwater that's the French drain and it's collecting water look at that So each project does require a different pipe. But let me show you some differences. Can you see the pipe behind me? This is four inch corrugated pipe. This is by far the best choice for most jobs. It's inexpensive, very durable. Let me show you how well it works. Even with an uphill discharge of one foot, look how much water we have coming out from the French drain. That's not from the gutters. That's from the gravel perforated pipe catching groundwater. That's how much groundwater our system collects. This is such a great project for the do-it-yourselfer. If you're willing to put some time, some sweat equity into your work, you can achieve the same results with this type of a discharge. Let's put this together. Before we start, a couple of notes. You know, it is July here, and it's 100 degrees, says it feels like 110. Remember, that's in the shade. And if you're going to do this project, be very careful, especially during the summertime. Stay hydrated. Okay, let's take a look at the problem. Why are we installing a French drain here? Why is this needed? So what you're seeing is what we call negative grade. That is where the yard is higher, sloping back towards the house. And this is the pool pump area. She has replaced everything here two times. There's a gas heater, of course the pool pump, and there's a chlorine tank there as well. That water was a foot deep after every rainfall. And she tried everything. She even put this all up on blocks, but it did not stop the problem. We needed to install a French drain. We call this an open French drain. That line runs all the way out to the front. And look how much water comes out of that ground from that French drain. As with any excavation, a lot of it is hand dug. And you can see here we've already created the trench for the French drain. You can see the pool return lines. One of the biggest problems that we faced here was not the trench along the side of the house, but there's private utilities. There is a gas line here. They have instant water, instant hot water. There's also the pool heater. And those private gas lines are not located by the utility company. So we had to carefully dig this by hand. But we're looking really good. You can actually see that the trench is running downhill. Water is already draining through. You'll also notice that we've put all the dirt on the tarps. That makes for a much easier cleanup. Here in Florida, we do sometimes need to use a geofabric. And this one is the best I have ever found. It's called Stay Green and it's made from recycled bottle caps. Extremely strong, durable. Wow, does it work. Stay away from those 4 ounce, 6 ounce, 8 ounce double punch fabrics. They don't work. Be sure to watch an upcoming video titled The Ugly Truth About Geofabric. We will show you flow rates of fabric, give you a history of geotextile, and show you what it's really used for. If you're going to use a fabric, this Stay Green is what I would recommend. This is by far much better than 4 ounce, 6 ounce, 8 ounce double punched. This is made from recycled bottle caps. And I promise you that it will allow water to enter in all directions. A couple of quick notes about laying your perforated pipe inside your fabric. Number one, make sure that you put a base of gravel under that pipe. And number two, make sure that you add catch basins to your system. Very important to pick up the surface water. Once you have your fabric laid out and the gravel under the pipe, you can go ahead and pour that gravel with a wheelbarrow or a shovel or whatever you're using to dump your gravel. You can do this with gravel by the bag. You don't have to have a great big trailer full of gravel. 
Maybe you just have a car and you've used the bags of gravel. However you can get gravel back to your job site, that works just fine. What we're doing is we're going to go ahead and totally cover this perforated pipe with gravel. So it, now it is encased. It is totally surrounded by gravel on the bottom, the sides, the top. Everything is graveled. And then we'll fold that fabric over, add more gravel to the top, and it becomes an open French drain. Remember the reason that we are installing this. This area flooded about a foot deep on every rainfall. By installing the French drain with catch basins, very important catch basins, they collect that immediate surface water. The French drain collects the subsurface water, and we were able to totally solve this problem. Gravel perforated pipe works best if you can bring the gravel to grade. That's very important. If you're able to do that, it will work extremely well. So now it's time to finish our trench on out to the sidewalk. We're using a trencher, and I strongly suggest that you use a trencher over an excavator. It saves so much time, so fast, and so easy to use. Remember, this is 4 inch solid pipe now. The French drain, we've collected the water with the French drain, that's the collection. Now it's the discharge, so it's solid pipe. We want to keep that water and discharge it out here at the front at the sidewalk. Six mil plastic, that's our tarps, and you can actually run the wheel of the trencher right over top of that. So lay your plastic out so that it's right where your wheel is on the trencher and you'll have an easy cleanup. Even if it rains in the middle of your install, yeah, that dirt does get heavy, but the plastic makes it very easy for you to put this back and it keeps that sod very, very clean. Remember, this line is nearly 300 feet long from the back of the house all the way out here to the sidewalk. We're also going to do the other side of the house, but I'll put that in another video. That is a totally separate system than this one, but it works just as well. So if you have a low spot in your yard that floods, or perhaps you have the negative grade like the issue here, this is a good job for the DIY. Yes, this is a long line, nearly 300 feet, but on the average, most homes are about 100 feet from the back of the house you know, to the sidewalk. So you should be able to do this job in about a day. Take the time, rent a trencher. Cost you about $100 to $150 for one day and it will save your back. You'll be able to trench this line and now it's time to lay some pipe. So right when you're ready to lay your pipe, of course, it's going to rain. But you know what? It actually lets you know how well your system's going to work. It filled that trench up with water from the very back and discharged right out to the street. So it's a great thing, cools you off, but still need to lay that pipe. So we're going under the sprinkler here. Pull it. Okay, now we need to join our 100 foot rolls together. And this is such a great way to do so. Watch this. Easiest couplings, strongest couplings, and they're free. Squeeze that together, stick it in one side, about half ways, and that expands. And if you can see in there, I mean, it's just super tight. Then we're just gonna put it in the other side and we got this together and it will not come apart. We did not lose any diameter and it's really the best coupling that you can make. Better than what you buy. The secret is to squeeze it really tight. Then you can twist it until it snaps together. Look at that. And that's tight. Now we can continue to just sink this line down through the trench. There's a lot of tree roots here, so we have to kind of lift some of those older roots. We cut a lot of them, but we need to lift some of them up, and then we can get this pipe in. So Chuck knocked this out pretty quick. We need to take away a little soil here. We'll do that in a little while. Clean up a little bit. Remember, we're hauling all of this away. 
we do not put our soil back on top of an open French drain. That's one of the hard things is to remove your excess soil. So if you do have a trailer, that's great. You can haul that away. You could also find an area somewhere in your yard to spread the soil. Maybe you have a bed that you can spread it in, but more than likely you're going to haul this away. You can see this line running all the way out to the front. We're almost done covering, and of course it rained, so that made it a little bit more difficult because the soil becomes very heavy. Let me show you a few tricks to help you if it does rain in the middle of your job because that soil is very heavy, and this is the fun part. You know, I like to play in the dirt. Hopefully you do too if you're going to do this job yourself. If it has rained in the middle of your job and you're trying to cover it up, that dirt is very heavy. This is the easy way. Step behind your shovel and start to push that soil off of that tarp. Try to get as much off as possible. And then you're able to pick up the tarp and just roll it over. So Chuck's almost got this. So just pull those tarps over here in a second. He's just moving it because it's wet, it's heavy. It rained last night. We just need to get the dirt off the tarp. Then we pull the tarp over and it gets really nice and clean under that tarp. But just five, six more feet to go. Looking really good. Remember, if you're doing this yourself, you're down here in the south, 100 degree days, make sure you stay hydrated. <laughs> People know that, but just remind you, if you don't stay hydrated, you will not make it through the day. And as is normal here in Florida, can you see that nice gray sky over there? And a nice blue sky over here? <laughs> what that means is there's thunderstorms very quickly approaching. So if we can get some of this covered here before that rain comes, that would be great. All those disbelievers. <laughs> Look at that water coming out of that thing. And it's uphill about a foot as it comes up. That's how much water comes out of our systems. You know, it really is crazy to show you guys this. If you would imagine a company been in business 40 years, how could we possibly be in business if our systems didn't work? Look at that. A quick downpour. This is coming from the French drain in the back. Let's take a look. Remember why we or you are installing this. There is a low spot way back here by the pool equipment and it's negative grade. So we had to dig through grade all the way out to the front to get this area to drain. And you saw that water come out. It works. Wow, does it work. We're pushing water through grade nearly 300 feet. 300 feet. And this is a project that you guys can do and truly save 10,000 plus. If you follow the instructions in this video, I guarantee you'll solve your problem. Just during that heavy rainfall, this little section of French drain, gravel perforated pipe, and the two catch basins collected all that water I just showed you out front. Tremendous amounts of water that we collect with four inch pipe. This is all gonna settle. Still some cleanup, of course, but wow, what a difference. Tremendous, tremendous groundwater. That's the French drain and it's collecting water. Look at that. Look how much water we have coming out from the French drain. That's not from the gutters. That's from the gravel perforated pipe catching groundwater. That's how much groundwater our system collects. Take a look at that. That's a constant flow of groundwater. We just had about a two inch rainfall in less than 30 minutes. So the ground is very saturated back there and that's gonna drain for another half an hour. A beautiful line, just beautiful. 
This is why we are the number one company on the internet, Apple Drains, the most trusted name in waterproofing. On this side of the house, we went ahead and ended it with a huge grate. This is not a catch basin, it's just a huge grate and a piece of six inch that lets that water come up and out of the line. But you can see the trench goes all the way back. This is 280 feet of pipe and boy does it work. <laughs> you can see the markings here for gas and electric. We had to cross over those, a lot of hand digging. And of course there's irrigation in here as well. So we'll finish cleaning this up today. We'll be finished with that. And you can see the box for the irrigation right here. We did hit a couple of uh, sprinkler lines. We made those repairs working good. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains, reminding you, you can get wet. <laughs> that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day. This is one of the greatest projects, the greatest satisfaction that you'll ever do around your house. And if you follow the advice in this video, you can achieve this kind of flow rate.